Now, there's been a massive surge in the number of women getting involved in U.S. politics. A record number of women secured nominations for the U.S. House in primary elections, which were held on Tuesday local time. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn, as we like to do, to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, this has been quite an empowering year for women in the United States. It certainly has, Mark. Following movements such as Me Too, women have uh, become more vocal now in social and political issues more than ever. Tuesday's primary was another example that 2018 is the year for women. The elections took place across four states, resulting in 11 female nominees for governor and at least 185 for the House of Representatives. The previous record for the House was set in 2016 with 167 female nominees, with the old record for gubernatorial nominees uh, at 10. That was set back in 1994. Most of the nominees are running as Democrats, which could be a huge boost for their party come midterm elections in November. However, there is still a long way to go until there is a uh, gender balance in American politics. 80% of Congress is still made up of men. Meanwhile, there is also a key election uh, that has been held in Ohio in what is being watched as a test of President Donald Trump's popularity amongst Republicans. The GOP has claimed victory, but the results uh, are too close to call.